I'm going to say good morning, even though I know it's not morning for some of you. My morning started two, over two and a half hours ago. I went to bed early last night and I thought, well, I'm going to get a good night's sleep tonight. And then I woke up and it wasn't even 1 a.m. <laughs> and I thought I'd fall back asleep, but I didn't. So I've been awake for a long time. It's only 3.33 right now. Anyway, before I actually start this morning's talk, I want to conclude yesterday's talk. Uh, as I was sitting in the meditation room this morning, uh, I realized that I hadn't mentioned in yesterday's video that on the chair that Dr. Mary always sat in, I have an afghan that my mom made. that She crocheted for me every stitch with love, as she always said. And that afghan is on that same chair. So in a sense, the chair that I'm sitting in, and I sat in it again today, two days in a row now, I'm sitting in the loving arms of my two moms, Dr. Mary and, of course, my birth mom, Grace. And I need a lot of grace. <laughs> anyway. The title of today's talk is No More Consent to the Beast. And I wrote a little blurb that'll go up on YouTube where I ask how many times throughout human history have humans been robbed, raped, and even killed by the beast in all of us? Countless. It has been going on as far back as we can remember and it's stored in our DNA. No wonder we are afraid. The ninth wave provides an opportunity to clear and transmute that destructive energy. If we choose to awaken to the truth that can set us free. As I was meditating this morning before I even got out of bed, and went into the meditation room. I was pondering this subject. And of course it has to do with uh, what's going on in the legal matters in my personal life and how big that is for the whole human family. We have created an absolute monster in our legal system, in our banking system, in our governmental systems. And I know the, the adage, what you resist persists. And I know that there are instances, perhaps a lot of instances, where that is absolutely the truth. If we resist seeing certain things, we're going to keep on seeing them. I believe that. we've got to stop resisting seeing those certain things. And actually see them. And seeing them calls for us to resist the beast. No more consent. I realize throughout my life as I've meditated, I've had flashbacks, if you will, from previous lives where I was burned at the stake and <sighs> suffered at atro atrocities at the hands of, of others, which were really part of me. But that's not the part that I'm focusing on this morning. I'm focusing on the real human drama of our lives. Why throughout history have we allowed man's inhumanity to man? Why have we allowed a certain few to prey on everyone else? Well, usually it's because they pick on one or two people at a time. They don't ever come after the mob. <laughs> Why would they? And so there's never a mob to have to control. And they're able to pick 
the visionaries, the mystics, the herbalists, labeled witches. They're able to pick us off one or two at a time and stir up frenzy with false accusations. And the beast has been able to do this down throughout history. It's been able to do it. In this ninth wave, as I indicated in that little blurb, we have a new opportunity. Right now, we have cameras on our cell phones. I don't have a cell phone. Don't intend to ever get one. But most of my friends do. Uh, they think I'm being old-fashioned by resisting that. <laughs> so be it. It is what it is. But we can now bring scores of people, if not hundreds and sometimes even thousands of people, into situations where we're recording on video and audio exactly what's going on. Now, this has always been recorded in the Akashic Records. There's nothing that's ever happened to any of us in any of our lifetimes that's ever gone unnoticed and will not be reconciled in some manner. I believe in divine justice, and I believe that that will ultimately happen. It has to, because that's the nature of God as I see God. And so in our generation, when the beast moves against someone to take their home, or to kidnap them, i.e. arrest, for something that's not proper. And I'm telling you, the beast, the law, the banking system, the government system is unlawful and out of control. I choose not to give consent, even if I have to pay with my life again. I will, I will pay that price again if I have to. I don't think I'm going to have to. I don't think any of us are going to have to if we're willing to stand with each other when the beast comes against one of us. We rise up and we say, you touch that person, you're touching me, you're going to have to answer to me too. And if enough people do that, the beast can't win. The beast can only win by our neglect of loving one another and of, and of being together with one another in community. That's the only reason man's inhumanity to man has been able to survive for so long. But now we're waking up to the beast within each of us and we're transforming and transmuting that beast, realizing that that is not our natural nature. And I know that's an oxymoron. It is not the way where we were created to be. We were created in the image of God and God is love. But we've created a false God with a false image. And we've created that God in our image, our fallen image, where we are violent one to another where we are so selfish that we do not any longer see the connection that we have with each other. And we've lived in a, in a culture and in a society that we have co-created together, either through our consent, our involuntary and unconscious consent, or because we thought, well, I can take advantage of this system and I can, I can get what I want. Even if I have to steal it from others and take it from others, I can get what I want because this is the way the world works. And so whichever side of the, the coin we're on, we've contributed to the system that we live in. And we have consented on one side or the other. We've all consented. It's time to consciously come to our senses and say no more consent to the beast. I'm not going to live this way anymore. I'm not going to live as if I'm the only one that matters and that I can do what I want to do and it doesn't matter how it affects other people. It doesn't matter 
what it does to their lives and to their families and to their loved ones. It doesn't matter. We can't live with that attitude anymore if we're a lawyer, if we're a banker, if we're a government official, if we're a, a law enforcement officer. It doesn't matter. We can't have that attitude anymore. No more consent to that attitude. We have to rise up individually because each of us individually is a natural human being. Forget the straw man. The straw man is the beast. It's the de denied part in each one of us that has been institutionalized. It has been, an entity has been created called the straw man. And the whole system works on fraud. The whole system does. Wake up, folks. This is the world we live in. It's the world we created. And we're not going to get out of it by denying it or turning our head and giving unconscious consent to it because we're afraid. We have to face the fact that we're afraid. Face our fears. And rise up and say to anyone that still wants to live in this old energy. No more. I'm not going to go along for the ride with you. I'm not going to give my consent to you. I'm not going to do it. I love you as a human being, but I'm not going to let you rob me. I'm not going to let you assault me. I'm not going to just take it anymore. You may still do it. You may still come after me with guns or with whatever. But I'm not going to just lay down and let you run all over me. That is not who I am. And it's not who you are. And if that's who you want to be, fine. But I'm telling you, I'm drawing a line in the sand. This is a boundary. I'm telling you, don't cross this boundary. Don't cross this boundary. I've been saying that in my life to the courts. Don't cross this boundary. You can have whatever you want. Leave me alone in my home. I don't want confrontation. I, that's not what I'm after. I'm not after confrontation. I am after awakening. I am after information, getting information to people. If those of you in the system think that that's threatening, fine. It's threatening. And I'm drawing a line. No more consent. I'm not going to allow the bank and the court and any law enforcement official to steal my house out from under me that was given to me by Dr. Mary. I'm not going to allow that. This was the provision God made through his infinite grace so that I could do the work that I came to do and fulfill the purpose that I'm put on this world to fulfill, part of which is waking people up. And I'm saying to the powers that were, that think they still are, that are going out of fashion with the people of the world, I'm saying no more consent. You have created a beast and you have fed off that beast. But I'm not part of that beast anymore. That government does not represent me. That court does not represent me. Those lawyers do not represent me. Those police officers, if they are upholding that beast, do not represent me. I can love each of you as an individual, each of you as an individual. It doesn't matter what you've done. I can forgive you for everything you've done, but I will not allow you to, rock, to walk over me and to take that which is mine to use in this world. And you spiritual people that think, Ron, it's all an illusion. Well, I'm fighting for the illusion then. Because it's my life. It's my life experience this time around. And I want it to count for something that's good. I want it to count for something that's going to be meaningful and make a difference in the world. This is the change that I want to see in the world. I want to see people standing up for our rights and who we are. And I will continue to raise my voice in that effort as long as I have breath in my body as long as I have breath in my body. And I will say continuously to the beast until the beast is dead, I don't give consent anymore. I'm not going to acquiesce and lay down and die for you. 
You may kill me, but I'm not going to voluntarily give up my life and to give up that which has been given to me to use. I'm not going to do it. So you can take what I've shared with you today however you wish. You can bury your head in the sand and pretend I, you didn't hear it. You might have turned it off already, in which case you didn't hear that. But it's time for all of us, as human beings, to recognize that we are created in the image of God and God is love. And love never takes that which doesn't belong to itself. Love doesn't do that. Love slays the beast. Yes. Love kills the beast by transformation. Hear me. The process is called transformation. It transforms the beast into the beauty. Beauty and the beast. It's in our myths. Wake up. Namaste.